Three, two, one, release, release, release. It's been a long time coming, two decades after founding Virgin Galactic, Sir Richard Branson sending his first paying customers to the edge of space. Our mission specialists have been cleared to unstrap and enjoy the zero-G experience. These were not the super rich or famous, but three employees of the Italian government who funded this flight. The commander on board, Air Force Colonel Walter Villaday, enjoying a few minutes of weightlessness and a moment in history. And viva la Italia! Throughout the 90-minute flight, the team conducted scientific experiments, including how certain liquids and solids mix in microgravity. Branson himself travelled to space as a passenger two years ago. He now hopes to send one tourist flight every month to the edge of the atmosphere. Virgin Galactic claim a waiting list of 800 customers, each paying between 200 and 350,000 pounds per ticket. The important thing with this is it's going to make people travelling into space, uh, even though they're going to be the rich, you need, need £400,000 to actually do it, it's going to make it accessible to do these suborbital flights. And I think that's important because it's going to make it a very common place and eventually the price will come down. And the commercialisation of space is probably where the future is going to be. But this sort of extreme tourism is under the microscope following the deaths of five people on board Titan Submersible. Commercial space tourism shares many parallels with deep sea exploration, not least the inherent risks. Over the threshold, that's the beginning of the runway. VSS Unity landed safely, but shares in Virgin Galactic dipped nearly 10% on touchdown. When it comes to convincing the world that this is the future, mission as yet not accomplished. Martha Kellner, Sky News.